The kind will be coming out when I said it was a peck up bow. So the bow is when is our basic aerial that whales and dolphins do. They come out head first, make a little rainbow arc in the sky, and head first back into the water. What we're working with the Kai is that he does it with his pectoral flipper up, or essentially sideways. Different from what we would call a side breach, a side breach or any breach behavior is when they land on the surface of the water, kind of like cannonball style. So a side breach, they go up on their side and land on their side to send a big amount of water out. Now side breaches are natural behaviors that whales and dolphins do because it's one way that they can use to communicate. Uh, sometimes a big, when you see the whales jumping around like that, they're either playing with one another, they can also be simply scratching an itch. Uh, their skin sloughs off a lot faster than ours, and so jumping up like that and landing on your side is a good way to scratch an itch. It can also be a communication method for them to say something like, hey, I'm over here, or hey, stay away from me. So watching the whales in general, for those of you guys get to hang out and watch them, it's very cool to try to interpret what's going on. You have to be aware of what's going on in their whole environment as opposed to just the one behavior that they're doing. So what Kate is going to be working on right now, uh, real briefly, will be having his pet come up. And then when Ulysses gets out here, since his session is going to be a little bit of an exercise, I'll actually try and mix in a peck up bow with Ulysses and even uh, that belly breach that you saw Keith doing so you guys can see the difference. Okay. So this behavior has a couple parts. We have Nicole over here teaching Nikai. We want him to build up speed this direction. And then come back this way. And look for that left peck that should be his dorsal fin towards you. Be skate. <laughs> he got it, but he wasn't quite as high as you wanted. Oh, the sighting bow is what we're focusing on. So, you got to see what happens when you get, kind of get a behavior you're not quite looking for. Absolutely nothing. You're still getting reward. So what we want to focus with all these animals, as long as you're paying attention to your trainer and remaining calm, we move on. Mistakes are a part of life. It's the same thing with the whales. It's okay to make mistakes. It's how you learn. So what we are focusing on over here is the reason that Cole had that target pole in the water is we ideally don't want him to surface before he makes the turn. So we're going to see if he can stay underwater this time as he approaches Nicole. He's down there. Slightly better. He didn't bring his head up, but he did kind of do a somersault got his tail flukes out, but that was better. And then a much lower part of the behavior there. So this is what, you, as trainers, you're always working with. So kind of think of it. For those of you parents out there and teachers out there, you're always trying to look at the motivation and how much you want to push or focus on on any given session. So you have to break it down into parts and really focus on or pick which aspect you want to focus on. So a little bit more energy there, but he came out of the water and you'll probably get a little bit higher. At least a little bit more gusto there, so that's good. But again, you got to pick which one you're going with in a session like this. All right, so while we get one more prox probably with him, we're gonna go ahead and have Yuli come out and do the next section, which will be our exercise. So we'll uh, see what we're gonna do here with the Kai, see if we get one more approach, and then we're gonna put it all together with Ulysses and show you just what these behaviors will look like when they are done. All right, so Nikai's on his way. He's really deep this time, but also coming up at a sharp angle. Nope. You want to talk? Okay. And I did it. So, you got to see what happens when he's not paying attention. So Nikai, like all the animals, sometimes they're focused on different things. He was more focused on ignoring the water target underwater. No big deal. We just go on, move on, do something else. So that's why we're going to go ahead and switch it up, bring Ulysses out here now, and move on to that next section. Ariane, you want to do exercise? What do you feel like? I'll, I keep going if you want me to. Oh yeah, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Sorry, you guys are stuck with me then, I guess. All right, Ulysses is on his way out. Uh, Morgan will be working with him. He's our largest whale. Hi, Bubba. All right, so Morgan's going to just do a few areas with him just to show you what those behaviors would look like. So again, this first one will be just what a regular bow is. Are you fine, Tess? Here he comes on the left side. That was the regular bow. Now she asked for the peck bow that should happen over here. So jumping out of the water, his right flipper in the air. A little bit more gusto than the guys. And then maybe center belly. Oh, he's going to keep going. Go ahead and tell him that. I couldn't think he got something for a second. So we're going to go right into the key behavior.